Right, so it's Saturday, and what better way to spend a day off than clearing the shed or outbuilding? I keep calling them sheds, it really just minimises what they are because you can see what's behind me, it's so much more than a shed. Um, We've, we've just finding that we're struggling with doing anything indoors because we obviously have part living there as well. Um, what's that? <laughs> I get so distracted. <laughs> uh, right, let's start again. So the plan is get this outbuilding sorted as much as we possibly can. It's so, I can't remember what the length of it is. But it's long enough that we'll be able to get the timbers in. Seven metres, eight metres. Yeah. So it's plenty long enough that we'll be able to get the timbers in to be able to get them cut and treated for the joist being done. Um, there's a lot of stuff in here. So that's our plan for today. Um, it's, I'll show you in a little bit rather than come over at the moment, but the ivy, and you, you could see the ivy on the roof anyway, but the roots, the tendrils, whatever of the ivy inside of here, you can see, well, yeah, you can see a tiny portion there. But if I turn the camera around, you'll be able to see it's just a carpet in here of ivy. But a couple of weeks ago, Ben sort of scuffed around in it a little bit, and there's some kind of flagstone below it. So we thought if we can get this cleared enough or resembling some kind of order, we can get the workbenches in here properly. Um, we've got the joist to do. Yeah, carry on. We've got the joist to do. But we're waiting on a new saw coming because the stuff that we've got, the saws that we've got would, would be okay, but it would probably make it a bit of a struggle for us. And then we, so we're buying a new saw to make it a lot easier for us to be able to cut these and they need treating before they go in anyway. Um, so yeah, that's what we're doing today. And it's quite windy outside and it's been raining here and there. And this is the thing, just reminded me, it was rainy. We thought of all different scenarios we could do with being able to do the timbers. We contemplated putting a tarpaulin across from one side of the house to the outbuilding or at the side of the house which is great but the downside is and you will have seen it on if you watched the video where we did the woodworm and then we showed you where we parked the car all of the area around the house just as soon as it rains it's just a foggy muddy mess and that's obviously not ideal and it, it does rain a fair bit or it has rained a fair bit um we've got it's quite nice today it's a little bit blowy a little bit of rain but it's relatively nice so what better time really to do this so yeah we have we thought of all ways that we could do these joists and it's delayed us in trying to find the best way where we can do it so that they can stay dry we can't, there's nowhere to put them in the house really once we've treated them um, and I think yesterday or the day before from doing the woodworm and how long it took us to get the house prepared before we could even do it, this keeps happening and it, we're just struggling for space to do anything productive. So day off, clear out to the outbuilding. So anyway, I'm going to crack on. I'm going to move the camera. It might get windy, but I think we'll probably time lapse a lot of it um, and speak here and there so you hopefully won't get to hear the wind anyway. I'll just show you actually. So this is probably can't get the scale of it properly on camera but that's the one end that's the end that's on um, the road there's a treasure tilly lamp there as well hanging up 
so that that is all the ivy what do you call them tendrils they're not roots no, are not they roots they're yeah it's as if it's come in there's obviously not enough light for it to sprout that many leaves and there's just this everywhere the, the floor is all ivy and we're hoping that once we've cleared and get these ivy bits up that the floor is relatively sound turn it into a workshop turn it into a workshop because we should get both benches in here easily not both big benches the ones that are in the kitchen isn't it yeah we still would but yeah we probably would with both big yeah. big benches so all of this these that's the wood that we save from the timber framework in the kitchen it was going to get oh that one yep yeah oh and these yeah these are the floorboards we were going to chop it up to burn it and then um somebody did mention that possibility of creosote and whatever else being stained so yeah and with the range not being the most airtight of contraptions so it will go in a skip yeah it's probably in, going to end up in the skip but that's one of those really bad boards from the bedroom from the blue room nice but yeah this is our waste pile we've kept loads loads and loads of skirting boards are fine and they're in the other outbuilding but anyway that's the size of this all the way over to there so that should be plenty big enough for us to do what we need to do without it being a struggle all of the time Probably should have said as well. I don't know if you can see it. Let me check. No, from up there, there's a little, there's a bit of panel missing. So we'll be cutting the bits of ivy that are in the way, and then maybe just put a temporary tarpaulin and weight that down with the same blocks that we're using to weight the tent down, just to keep it waterproof in there. Because at the moment there is one portion that is completely open to the elements the rest of it isn't too bad the weight of the ivy is a little bit of a concern because it will take the roof down so we may have to look at taking some of that out thinning it out just to stop the weight taking the other end of the roof down And the sound might be a little bit poor because we're finding it difficult to get microphones delivered at the moment. But we will get some new microphones. Life lessons come one in a dozen. The other eleven get something from nothing. I sit here looking for an answer. Maybe the biggest question was in the last chapter. You gave me the soul I have today Without you I never could have moved away But now I see what you teach I do believe I always should have stayed yeah. Is this really happening? I can't believe it's true I'm just as surprised as you
Life lessons come one in the dozen. The other eleven get something from nothing. Life lessons come one in the dozen. The other eleven get something from nothing. Life lessons come one in the dozen. The other eleven get something from nothing. Life changes just open the door. But one thing's certain, I'll always be yours. Like a coke. Uh, Should we have a coke moment? Yes. That would be lovely. Right, I've just had a bit of a dig. Not a lot of a dig, just to scrape my boot really. And although it looks a mess, there's stone on the floor. On purpose, it's not just generally slung there. Talking to the lady who used to live here, um, there were flagstones down. Um, and various stones um, so we're hoping we can get down to those to get a fairly firm firm base for the workshop mm. it'll also get rid of a lot of dump as well if we can get the soil out the window there used to be cows in here apparently and the window up there was where they used to fire the cow muck out of when they were clearing them out I think they were a very good shot <laughs> Because it looks a very little window. But so that might explain why the brambles grow so well. Yeah, because they're well fertilised. <laughs> fertilised brambles, bigger blackberries. Yeah. Alright, let's go and get a Coke. Have you paused? No. no. Also, I'm starting to sound like Dawn. Also, <laughs> also. also, there we go. So, we've managed Big to... Big tumbleweed. Yeah. It's like Dawn said, there's a couple of roots in there, but nothing that they're, they're more of a, a creeper to try and find something to latch on to. But yeah, it's all ivy. Not sure what we're going to do with it, but there we go. That was my also. We may be getting a skip. Yeah, shortly. skip. Yeah, I think so. I thought I'd show you this. It's an old one. A little bird's nest, an old one. But we was just looking at it and you think all the work that goes into building their little nests and they collect all these bits and pieces. Right. Let's show you the little bit of the floor that Ben, I don't know if he brought it over. Where's the spade? Well, you can see it. And these stones. We're hoping that most of the floor is going to be covered like that. A big old pile of ivy.
Right, I'm doing picking this up and bringing you in here because Ben just finished uncovering that and we realised, or Ben realised, um, that the camera wasn't even facing it. facing it. So you wouldn't have got to see what was going on, but this is what was uncovered. Look at that. We thought it was just a tiny little hole, but it's a, a, an actual window. And the timber actually looks pretty decent, doesn't it? Running across it's the top good there. Shape. Yeah, <laughs> woo. But yeah, I'll bring it back and then you can see it in its full glory. And there's all the furniture that needs moving, but. Burning. Oh, moving. Moving. Not burning. Not burning. Look at that. It's. And this is the. For comparison, it's a big. Yeah. Big hole. It is a big hole. <laughs> there you go. Get my phone. I've got a little bit of charge. But this is what we're... We've got that patch there and there. And we're thinking as a really temporary measure just to get some tarps. Weight it down. I think I said that at the beginning of the video. Yeah, you did. Yeah. See, that side's... Only a small sheet. Only a small bit, yeah. Whereas there's a full sheet. Full sheet there. We still need to get rid of some of the ivy there. But look at that wall. The ivy hasn't really done that much damage, I think, because it didn't really do anything other than grow yeah. over. Yeah. So, in effect... It's yes. kind of protected the wall. It's just like a carpet. Yeah, yeah, it's look how huge, thick it is. Huge carpet. It's so thick. But this is what the ivy was hiding. I love that wonky bean. It's great, isn't it? Mm. And then we got this to do tomorrow. Because this is going to sound like all I ever think about is food. But it's dinner time soon. <laughs> <laughs> it's dinner time now. It is dinner time now. Like, I'd like to keep going. But, you know, human bodies. Got to have some fuel here and there. So that will be tomorrow's job. In the morning. Do that side. Get the top. Over that. And somehow secured awesome. and then we'll finish this patch as well tomorrow just some rocks this this side of the outbuilding is quite quite broken but could you not do that while I'm stood in it but this, this is like obviously not nice to see because it's um, broken, but it, it shows you the two thickness, the, f the front side and the back side with the rubble in the middle of the walls. So that's that, anyway. So, Thank you for watching if you got this far. Right, so it's Sunday now and we wasn't going to film today just because it's more of the same of yesterday that we've already filmed and we didn't think you'd be interested in seeing us tidy up this shed for another day. The reason why we were going to use this is we've been told that there was flagstones under the floor in here. So we've just come across this. So it's made it all worthwhile because this has taken a long time. And we've not finished the other side yet. With these huge 
it's such a shame <laughs> the camera just look at this on the camera ben it it makes it look so minuscule there you go that's how big it is still makes it look little i've got size it? 12 fit now <laughs> <laughs> a He's little got size, size one little size six feet <laughs> It's just a cobble, really. But they're, they're big. Yeah, they're huge. So, all the hard work that this has been taking is getting there. Is getting there. Because back here is now, ignore the left hand corner, is quite flat. The left hand corner, not so much. But under these, under all this soil that you can see, in theory, oh, lots Strange. more of these. I don't know if they're big, but no, they're, they're there. But yeah, they are. They are there, and we're we're close to uncovering them. It's obviously not going to be the most level and stable area for making a workshop, but we don't really care. We can prop up a bench because this is much more impressive we feel like what did you say oh you said i should be entered into the next hurling competition was it hurling curling curling i thought it was more like um time team that's yeah, how i felt yeah i didn't really feel like i was in the olympics i'm too unfit for the olympics but the archaeology that appealed i'm going to show you the little woofer that lives up the road. Come on. And for a little while he's had the collar of shame on because he he had to be neutered. Come on then. We called him Barky Bark Bark for a Come long time. On, but now we know his name. Come on then. Come on. Where have you been? Look how beautiful you Where are. Have you been? We've missed you. Where have you been? Are you going to start barking at us again now? You're going to do strokes now? No? Come on, Come then. on. Ignore the camera. Is he shy? <laughs> yeah. He said, don't Come put on, no paparazzi. He's a good boy. You all right? Come on. He's then. so wary of us. Come on, then. Not my but he boy. really wants to be friends. Come he on. just can't get over his no. nervousness. Come on. Come on, then. Come on. Come on, little fluffy pants. Oh, well, that, that's just a touch rude, isn't it? <laughs> Have a wee on the solar. <laughs> You're filthy, mate. But that was it, really. It was just a... What's that? Cigarette lighter thing. That's a lock. Off a locker. Hmm. I found all sorts of treasures. I'm sure I'll show you at some point. Haven't I? Yes. <laughs> I'll actually turn the camera around and you can see the huge pile of treasures. Treasures. Mm. Absolute giant pile. Of junk. <laughs> <laughs> One man's junk. Is someone else's junk around? <laughs> yeah. But to me, it's treasure. There's all sorts. It's... What I was hoping, was sort of, a little crock of gold. Uh, no, what I was hoping, and running along the same theme as the fireplace musings, was the crane <laughs> for the kitchen fireplace. But I don't know if I found bits of it or not. I found all sorts of bits. Um, and I found lots of chains. And bits like this that have got hooks on them. To be honest, it's probably to do with this housing cows at some point, but you never know. So I'm not getting rid of them until I know for sure that it's nothing to do with um, the kitchen fireplace. And I've also found this. This I'm thinking is to do with cows. And then this. All 
whole shoe. So we'll get that cleaned up and we'll put that in the house. Or we could hang it above the shed. Yeah. So there we go. That's the flagstones. It's a shame they don't really stand out on camera. I'm hoping that when they, when I see it on a laptop instead of the phone more. screen, I'll be able to see just how big they are. Right. Ben's off down the lane. We've got a slight bit of access to the back and that's where we're putting the soil at the moment. So that's that really. We'll spare you the watching us carry on. I just wanted to show the flagstones because they're quite impressive really, the size of them. So there you go. I don't know if you'll be able to hear me but because of the generator but they're going to need some repairing here and there here and there aka pretty much all of this and then this one you can actually see this one better i showed it yesterday but it had all the ivy on it sorting there's nothing living in it it just is there sitting on top looking pretty but being destructive that's been up there Okay. 
carry on raking in there. Not sure where, how deep we go down. We're still a little high over there. I don't know if there's flagstones everywhere or whether it's flagstones through the middle and then maybe more cobble like stones to the sides I'm not sure it's a little bit not sure how how deep to go I keep testing it with a fork when I'm hitting stone only about a centimeter or two centimeters more down but again can't see it until you uncover it but we'll keep on going <laughs> Show you, pick this up and show you some of the my bits. Oh. oh, it's all well, it's the ivy, really, isn't it? Ivy's come in, destroyed the mortar, and it's just crumbling. Up to the window, cute little window. Look at that ivy, and then we got this patch and that patch, and in there, 
You can see where the ivy's come in and caused all of that as well. So, hopefully, it doesn't need knocking and it can be repaired. Although this one looks quite like it could do with a couple of props there. I'll put you back down here. You can just see the flagstones that we uncovered yesterday. These still need uncovering a little bit over here. And I would imagine, hopefully, there's some this side as well, but the level is quite high. So there's a whole lot of rake in first, and then there's a big pile of peat in the corner and some a huge wheel and a massive pile of ivy or ivy tendrils it's very little green ivy in here it's just the, mainly the tendrils and it needs some repair to the roof too <clears throat> ben was up there trimming again this morning so we can get a tarp on bit of collapse there as well such a shame because <clears throat> I think these are about 200 odd years old they're on the old Cassini maps from 1820s so we just hope it's salvageable don't we yeah <clears throat> it I, will be I actually managed to say that word salvageable yeah I'm not I normally can't I normally trip up over that one what's the other one I can't investigative. say investigative <laughs> yeah and in, indi indicative yeah investigative so anyway, I'm putting you back down. New feature. Dawn's wo words Dawn can't say. Yeah. Most have, of them. And we have got new microphones. We haven't plugged them in. <laughs> so hopefully... Is that what's in the hall? Yeah. Oh, I didn't realise we had them. No, that's fine. That's right. I've just been standing close to the camera to speak if... It can just be one if I needed to speak. video. One more what? One more poor sound <laughs> video. And then we'll be back to normal. And then we'll be back to muffled. <laughs> it might be, it could be limestone, uh, sandstone. So Put the camera down there. Yeah, it could be sandstone. This one here. Yeah. It looks like it's got a purpose cut, circular cut in it. Um, found a lot actually lots of what looks like animal collars I've thrown a couple outside for the rain to wash them off but there's lots of hooks bits and pieces that was a pole down there but yeah this piece here it just looks like a circle has been cut into it and we just found the same over in the other corner of concrete with a, with a hole in it so we're guessing it was there for tethering animals because this was for the cows in here Such a shame. Ivy and its trail of destruction. It is, it really is. 
So yeah, it's a little bit disappointing that they're in that kind of state. Obviously couldn't see that until um, all the ivy was taken down. That side's, mm, there's a little bit there as well. But yeah, I didn't, didn't expect that. Because from the outside, you can't, can't see it. I'm just take the outside. Have a look. Let's go outside. Sorry about the mess. And it is a big mess. So this is the outside. You can see cracks, I suppose, but really you wouldn't look at that unless I suppose you were stonemason and see really that much wrong and the same with here there's not much to indicate apart from that with all the ivy which has caused all that trouble inside but you wouldn't be able to tell from the the stones themselves here yeah, you can see from the outside a little bit, but there's just ivy everywhere. It's ivy that's killed most of the trees on the land as well. It just causes so much damage. But yeah, on the whole, when you look at it, You wouldn't necessarily be able to tell the big patches missing inside. You can see the ivy's destroyed a lot of the mortar. Should I go back in? Move it aside first. What we're going to do with this giant pile of ivy, and then we got a giant pile of peat that we're not sure what we're going to do with, but we do think we're probably going to need another skip now. <laughs> Here the swallows. Mm. Right, leave that there for a minute. Go that way. Yeah. Or do you want to Can sit work? and talk to them? No. For a little bit. <laughs> Just for a little bit. There no. you go. Thanks. <laughs> All right. Back in sit. Like Hampton Deck. <laughs> 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 oh, wait, you're like Hampton yeah. Deck. Yeah. But a little less That's... happy. <laughs> yeah. We thought we'd go and make a cup of tea because after where I've showed you what we've uncovered, we're a little deflated. Because not only is it quite sad that it's in that state. It just means we're not really sure whether we should be using it as a workshop because we don't know how stable the walls are. Yeah, that part especially over there. <coughs> but there's a little <coughs> this side and behind. And we were so chuffed yesterday to find these. And now we're a little bit not so <coughs> chuffed. Not so chuffed. But a cup of tea. Fixes everything. Always works on EastEnders. So, will it Coronation Street? Will it rebuild our walls? Might. Maybe if we made it strong enough. We click our heels. Mm. Well, your mum always says that. She put on the Dorothy. Oh no, it was Mandy actually. Yeah. Put on the Dorothy shoes. Give them a click. That's and it just right. suddenly it just appears. Happens. Yeah. So maybe if we do that, we both get a sparkly red shoes. My mum's always waiting for the fairies to do stuff while she's asleep. <laughs> the, um, 
the massive IV we're going to have to put out on the land in a pile. We can have a, a general tidy carefully, maybe with our hard hats on. Mm. <clears throat> I think we'd need more than hard hats if that goes. Or get someone else to do it. <laughs> We just need really long rakes. Yeah. But we can do it from over here. So. Because you can't really. I don't know if I show. I probably did show actually. <clears throat> that corner still got ivy in it. But that is a massive hole as well. Not a complete hole, because it doesn't go right through to the other side. Well, <laughs> not that we can I tell at the I moment. Think it does. From outside. <clears throat> you can see bits are missing. Oh, from that side? Yeah, because I, I took the camera around to have a look. And yeah. on this side and the gable end, you wouldn't really be no. able to tell there's anything wrong. But when you look down the side as much as you can... Oh, I see what you mean in that hole. In that hole. Yeah. Yeah, you, it does look like there's stones missing from the outside as well. So, so <laughs> take some advice on it. Yeah, I think we need to. See who we can find. But, as per usual, and this isn't a doom and gloom video, but as per usual, it's one step forward. And in this and case, three or four few back. few steps back, yeah. I'm sure. Happens to everyone. Yeah, and I'm sure at some point it will all fall into place and things will go right but <clears throat> at the moment at the moment not so much no and that's why just doing simple things are taking a lot longer than we'd hoped mm, yeah because it is simple you clear out a shed yes it's a lot of raking chopping yeah, shoveling which digging it's hard work in itself but we don't mind when it's fruitful yeah <laughs> this is a bit seedless. A little bit salt destroying. Mm. But hopefully, the next time we show you this, we will have made a decision, something will be done with it. Yeah. And it will be a workshop. Yeah, it will. Hopefully. Hopefully. So we'll carry on emptying. Yeah, because the whole of the garden is filled with the shed contents at yeah. the moment. It's so not, not pretty, so you can just imagine that. We won't show you. I may have shown you. Oh. Right, I'm back again. Just to cheer ourselves up from being a bit deflated from finding the holes in the shed it's like an obstacle course around here went, went round the back just to clear a bit of a path to be able to get some of this ivy tendrils whatever they are feelers you've got a horse fly on your <laughs> horse flies like ben um so i went round the back just to clear a path make make our lives easier because i've got nowhere to put anything really until we get skip and cleared a little patch and uh, Ben's tidied up the window and I'll flip it round and show you in a sec because it looks really really nice ready the window's cleared cleared some brambles and some nettles and then I'm going to come back because you get it's nice to see the stone window frame in it and that's our land and that giant conker tree is our conker tree Try not to trip on stones. <clears throat> right, there's a long way to go, don't get me wrong. This is just a tiny little patch. Can hear all the swallows. But now we actually have a view, other than having to walk down the lane a bit, we can see our land from the ground. Look at that. I just thought you might be interested. It looks like nothing really, <laughs> looking at it. Your eyes see it better, don't they? Perfect. 
perfectly framed. Conga tree. Excuse my cracking knees. Look at that. So there you go. That's what I wanted to show you. Right, it's now day 400. <laughs> <laughs> We're almost done. There's, there's bits still to do, but the majority of what we've been doing to get this shed outbuilding sorted so we can use it as a workshop, we're, we're almost done. There's a few bits and pieces. The, pl the plan today was like last time where we came out with a cup of tea <laughs> because we were caught quite down about the fact that the wall's falling down. Um, we were coming out with a cup of tea today and we were just going to have a what should we do next and the video that's just played looked like we were just taking so long. <laughs> On the floor you'll see you've got the big big flagstones but then <clears> at various different levels it's not flat. There's cobbles and if we just dug down to dig out the dirt we would have just unlodged all of the cobbles and we don't want to mm. do that we want to keep the original cobbles in the original places yeah um so that's why it looked like we didn't have a clue what we were doing <laughs> on the bit you've just watched we don't have a clue what we're doing <laughs> no no we don't have a clue on what we're doing with most things that we do we're just living learning and learning as we go along 
So what well, might take us a little while to grasp what we're doing, but yeah. we'll get there in the end. Yeah. <coughs> the good the good news is, let's flick you around. The good news is the other day once we'd found where the wall had collapsed in various places. I can see daylight through that one. And there, and then this this is a really bad corner. Um our neighbour turns out that for I think 30 years ish, I could be wrong on that, um, was a block builder. So he's coming Saturday. We've ordered the cement, well, the cement's here, the sand's here, um, and he's going to rebuild all of the missing parts um, and make it strong and safe. So that's the right result. So we've got a pile of stones there ready, which are the ones we found in here. That's semi-collapsed, so we'll have to pull all of those out safely, and the same goes for that one. Um, yeah. But Dawn showed the window. We were really yep. pleased with the window with that big beam across the top, the wonky beam. Um, and it's been good for getting soil out. <laughs> yeah, lots and lots and lots of soil. <clears throat> At the end of the day, it's land out the back, so we added to it with some soil. Yeah. Lots of it. <laughs> straight out the window um, it would have taken so long with a wheelbarrow to go and put it on the land somewhere else yeah because it's a long walk down it to be able a, to get yeah, to is. anywhere on it yeah. so so th this is what we've got we've got I can't remember how long it is long what this build oh, yeah yeah we did measure it and I can't remember no I, I can't I remember can't what remember. it was I don't know so if I, can... I could do a I'm not very good at meterage but I could, could be guess seven, one. Could be one. 78 metres. Is that a metre? Yeah, that would do. One, two, three, four, five, six, and a bit. Six and a bit. And a bit. So it could be... It could be about eight, four. Four. <laughs> <laughs> nice. It's quite large. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, that's, that's where we are. So this side... It's fairly flat now, so now we're just waiting for Saturday to come. What is it today? Thursday? Uh, Wednesday. Wednesday. <laughs> <laughs> Wednesday today. It was Tuesday <coughs> yesterday with Bruce getting the valet. Um, so we've, we've still got some bits to do. There's some ivy to come out. We yeah. need to cut the ivy on the gable end to put the tarp on. The tarp will then let the floor dry out, which means we can then do some more time team and brush away the dirt mm. to expose the cobbles. Um and that's where we're at. Once that's done, the block work's done, the tarp's done, we can then look at turning it into a workshop. So, and then on another exciting note, let me turn you around, hang on. And then, <laughs> and then on another exciting note. And then on note, another exciting note, the trestles turned up today and the scaffold boards. Oh, they did. Um, and that's what we're going to use. Oh. It's not a good angle. It's not, you? Let's move it. Uh, yeah. There we go. Good angle. <laughs> Step back a bit. There we go. Good <laughs> angle. Yeah. Um, scaffold boards, because that's what we're going to use to put the joists up. Uh, they turned up today. I've ordered yep. all the lime. Hopefully, he said Friday, if possible. But if not Monday. If not Monday. So the lime for that and for other. <clears throat> other bits and pieces that we've got to do as well. That will be here in a few days. So that's joists, um, the lime, the mitre saw. That's here, saw's that's here. here. It's all here. It's more wood preserver because we used, that was a three in one to kill woodworm. So we used a bit of that to finish doing the woodworm, spraying indoors. So we've got another can of that as well. Yeah. So we're pretty much it's almost all ready here. to. Yeah, so. Ready maybe, to go. Maybe, I won't say mm. next week, maybe <laughs> mid next week we might start the joists. Yeah. We wanted everything. Look at my hair. We wanted everything. <laughs> What's uh, wrong with your hair? What's well, right with it? It looks fine. Never no mind. Yeah. Yeah. It's fine. Okay. Uh, yeah, we just wanted all of the bits and pieces that we needed rather than start something and then realise we still got a. Order, order something else so we wanted everything there ready to go before we start yeah because like we say a lot this isn't something we've done before 
No. So we want everything to we'll be never perfect. Do it again, either. <laughs> <laughs> but we are hoping that once we've done one floor, doing the living room will be a lot easier. Will be a lot easier. Yeah, we know what we'll be up against. That's the thought, anyway. Um, yeah, I don't think there's anything else. No. So next time you see this, we will do an update because it will be. We call it a workshop. It'll be our workshop. Mm. To a mechanic, it won't be a workshop. <laughs> no. To a carpenter, it won't be a workshop. It'll be our workshop. Yeah. Um, so the next time you see it, we'll give you an update. The block work in the wall should be done. The tarp will be on. Um, we'll have the benches workbenches in, the in, the saw in. Yeah. Might even set the table saw up. Yeah. It's, it's a place to work. Um, so there we go. <laughs> Speak to you soon. See you later. Thank you for watching. Oh, yeah. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.